Ow! Why do these always start in pain? Hello! This is a video idea brought to you by Katie. Thank you, Katie. I'm excited for this. It's gonna be a very nerdy, very niched audience video, but it'll be fun, I think. Also, some housekeeping before we get started. If you're not following me on Snapchat at P. Virgilius Morrow, I don't know what you're doing with your life because I'm hysterical on Snapchat. I'm on Snapchat constantly, and my content is very high quality. Anyway, so today I'm going to teach you the basics of how to play tuba. Unfortunately, I don't actually own a tuba, because they're expensive, but I do have a tuba mouthpiece, so I can teach you some things. So the first thing you need to do is you got to pinch your lips together really tight like this. I like bring the corners in, make sure everything is all tense. Then, you buzz. I don't know how to explain it. It's like air moving super, super fast through your lips. But since your lips are really tight, it makes a buzzing noise instead of just like, good, we've all got buzzing down. Let me hear you all try. Okay, we'll work on it. All right, now everyone get out your tuba mouthpiece. Unless you don't have one, which is gonna be almost all of you, let's be real. And so remember that buzzing thing we were doing? <laughs> now you, mm -hmm. <laughs> so if, you, if your lips are looser, you can play lower. <laughs> Also, it takes a lot, a lot of air. Then, if your lips are tighter, you can play higher. Since I switched to playing tuba from playing trumpet, I naturally have a, a tighter embouchure and can play higher better than I can play lower. So higher is a lot easier. Yeah, that's, so that's, that's buzzing and stuff. If I had a tuba, I could show you how it really sounds on a tuba. But I don't. So I guess I'll just tell you a fun fact about tubas and how they work. Um, so similar to all valved brass instruments, they rely very heavily on the overtone series. So physics people will understand things about it because physics and sound and stuff. Tubas have four valves. Some tubas have three valves and some tubas have five valves, but the tubas I play have four valves. The fourth valve is kind of hard to reach with small hands, and so your pinky kind of, you have to shift your whole hand to reach the fourth valve. So I didn't actually use the fourth valve until my fifth year of playing tuba, because A, I was lazy, and B, my fingers didn't actually quite reach. But then when I was taking tuba lessons in college, my professor was like, you gotta use the fourth valve. And I'm like, I know, but I don't want to. Fourth valve is mainly just for tuning and stuff. Like, there are alternate fingerings. This is so hard to explain to people who don't know anything about playing a brass instrument. So the buzzing. Ready? We're all gonna buzz together again. Ready? Without the mouthpiece. One, two, three. <laughs> wow. You guys are getting better. Marginally. Uh, let's buzz now with our mouthpiece again. Ready? And... Well, that was fun. Well, this has been a good video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Follow me on Snapchat. Bye!